What's up America? Neil here from Jungle Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a quick review on a very cool product that's uh, fairly new to the market. I discovered it and uh, I want to tell you all about it. So let's get started. So this guy is a universal mag pouch and it is made by Pitbull Tactical. And as it says in the very back here, it's made in the USA. So go America. Now, Let's talk a little bit about universal mag pouches. There's a bunch of good ones out there, okay? And this one, I'll tell you what's a little unique about it. Here's one of my favorites uh, currently. Uh, the way this is set up is there is a set screw back there. And so whatever magazine you may be carrying in here, you can adjust that. This one obviously be too loose. So the idea behind this being universal is that uh, these are very durable. Uh, they can fit whether it be a Glock magazine or whoever else's. And all you do is there's a little screw back here. You adjust that. Obviously, this would be way too loose. And you would adjust it until it fits firmly. Um, this particular setup, you can unscrew this, put it on this side so you can make it for inside or outside the waistband. As you can see at the bottom uh, of, a of this particular style of universal mag pouch it's angled just like the actual magazine so obviously if you're trying to do this properly and, and orient your bullets forward uh, depending on whether you want outside or inside you have to flip that uh, flip that particular clip so super cool uh, another design this is a, just another universal style very similar it's got some uh, screws to set it up but this one is flat in the bottom so it would hold the magazine obviously not that one but it would hold your magazine in either direction Okay, so kind of a different concept here. And then that brings us to the Pitbull Tactical setup. So the way this guy works, it's pretty incredible actually. It's uh, this kind of rubber band type material, probably not doing it justice, but uh, basically just a stretchy material on there. And then it's a, a, a polymer or some type of plastic outer, and it has one fused one piece uh, clip here basically between the two shells that go together there's a rubber band basically holding them together and then you got your your magazine clip um, nothing you can see it's got a pretty good little lip there nothing amazing or astonishing about that just a basic clip but it is pretty rugged since it's all fused to that one piece but here's the cool part check this out uh, Glock, or I'm just Glock 19 1911 magazine obviously single stack very thin fits right in not coming out Okay, I'm not holding it in or anything like that. That's just the way it is. Okay, check it out. Let me go to that. Here's a total crazy one. Here's a Canic, right? One of my new favorite pistols. Not super popular. Bingo! Look at that. Fits in, no problem. Again, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Here's a Sig extended magazine for P320. Bingo! Oh, you don't want to orient it that way. You want to orient it this way. Bingo! No problem. Here's a Glock magazine. Okay, we could do this all day. It's not going to make any difference. CZ, right? Smith and Wesson, you name it. From a, I'm a, I would say probably the thickest one on the table is probably the Glock magazine to the thinnest 1911 magazine. No problems whatsoever. And again, stays in there just the way you like it. The other cool thing about this is inside the waistband, outside the waistband, no big deal. Because again, it doesn't matter how the magazine's oriented in there. Uh, you can either just put it on the outside of your waistband or you can put this on the inside. And then you've got a, a truly universal magazine. It's great for us as trainers because people come, their gear breaks, or they didn't have it, or they left it at home, or whatever the case is. Hey, I got one for you. Guaranteed, it's going to fit. 45, 9 millimeter, 40, whatever. Here you go. Stick it on there. So super cool. They come in a bunch of different uh, colors. This is obviously the OD green. There's a the black. Um, check it out on their website. But uh, a really innovative, cool product, and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Now, a couple things that I could say that uh, as far as... If I could improve something or add to something, this is um, obviously another form of a universal holster. This is more, I'm sorry, universal mag pouch. This is set up for a specific uh, specific model. But I think what would be kind of cool is I love this design. I think this should be this should be the way it is. But maybe another option would be instead of just having that one fused clip on the back, you could either drill one or two holes and you can set it up like this is a this is a pull dot. Uh, this is obviously specifically for inside the waistband. This would go in, this would wrap around your belt, and then you have that little loop on there. Very, very uh, secure to the waistband. It's not going to ever come out unless you actually unbutton it. Um, and that would kind of give you some additional options as far as making this even more universal. Or, of course, 
if you wanted to use a different type, I don't know necessarily why, but if you wanted to use a different type of uh, clip, again, by putting some, some kind of a universal hole pattern back there, that might be a cool option. Uh, the other thing that would be nice is uh, I have a bunch of these, and so I wear them obviously independent on my, on my belt, but potentially maybe we could have one that has a connection uh, so it's got two that are fused together pretty tightly, or even with a hinge perhaps. Uh, just because as you're rolling around and doing stuff, it's possible that they, they move around since they are independent. So having a double mag pouch like that, that'd be kind of a cool option. So hopefully that might be something they think about. Um, and then of course the big one I think everyone's thinking about is these would be killer for mag pouches for rifles, right? For AR, 300 blackout, that type of thing, AKs. Uh, set that up maybe with a Maybe you can have a Molly configuration to put it on a vest or whatever the case is, but I think this would be a, a super killer op, uh, uh, mag pouch for, for rifles as well. So hopefully we'll see that I have no contact with the company at all, but uh, just me talking out loud, I think that'd be kind of cool. They're out of Idaho. Again, they have a 100% uh, guarantee. You can check out their stuff, but it's called Pitbull Tactical. So again, pretty cool little product. Hope you guys like it. Check it out. You know where to find us. You can find us here on YouTube. We are now on Rumble, which is going to be Jogger Farms Academy with the number one. That's our channel there, so check us out there because who knows how long we'll be on here. Uh, always uh, like and subscribe. Remember, you guys, when you do subscribe, go to the little bell and click all because YouTube is a very funny way of not telling you when we put videos out. So that will help out a little bit there. Uh, of course, we put all our A-list stuff on Patreon. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a video right after this, because if you're watching one of these, it's going to go to Patreon on uh, how to use uh, mag pouches from concealment for CCW. So that's coming up next. Other than that, until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 7.